Hello, Jill Smith, Aussie author. Just a quick follow-up on uh, reviews I've done of Fiona Macintosh. This one is, um, is basically I'd reviewed this quite some time ago, but it's a great book. It's called Tapestry um, by Fiona Macintosh. And I'll just read you the little bit of the review I did, and uh, you can have a look at that for us. And I will put that on the blog. So I really enjoyed the journey of Jane Granger. Um, her feisty character and determination makes her a loved yet unpredictable member of the Granger family. Could she settle down? Will her fiancé Will, who adores her, um, and they are planning their wedding? It's 1978 and Jane should feel elated, but she isn't. Will talks about ley lines and the magic they hold. Ayers Rock in Central Australia is a spiritual place and he wants to take her there. Then a cruel twist throws her already confused mind into disarray. Will needs her to fight for them. Would she be willing to go to this incredible place to sign Will's name and save him? Would this change how Jane feels about Will? Fate steps in in the form of a mystic who shows her a way to find what she is looking for. Her journey to Australia is an adventure and her goal is to say Will. When the lay nines meet, she, she is sent on a journey and she does not ex that she does not expect. Jane finds herself in sign the inside the mind and body of Wilfred in 1715. Her husband William is the Earl of Nithsdale. Her own will is his descendant. William is the Jacobite fighter for Scottish independence he, who's in great peril. Now Jane as Wilfred, Winifred I should say, must fight for both wills. During a perilous journey Jane discovers what she is searching for. So that should have been Winifred earlier. So thank you very much for listening. It's not, maybe not my best reading of the review, but I will pop that on my blog and you have a great evening and do enjoy Jill Smith writes book reviews on YouTube and, uh, and look up my blog and, uh, and see the full review there. Thank you. That's it. That's it done.